grown-up problems. She goes every day so that she stays healthy. You see, well, my mom needs help learning to take better care of herself. It's a new and tough lesson for Elmo and the gang on Sesame Street. The truth about addiction. Carly gently introduces the conversation, helping kids learn that sometimes mommy and daddy need help. Mm. This kind of conversation early on can really help break the stigma. Thanks for joining us at 530. I'm Tracy Townsend. And I'm Jerry Ravish. Carly was a groundbreaking character introduced to Sesame Street. She is the first Muppet in foster care, and that's because her mother has an addiction. Sesame Street coming a long way there. Here at 530, how Carly is helping kids around the world with her new mission. Thanks, Chris, for watching me and Elmo while my mom's at her meeting. Great topic on Sesame Street. What meeting did Carly's mommy have to go to? Carly, who's a Muppet in foster care, carefully explains to Elmo about her mom's struggles with addiction and her treatment at meetings. My mom needs help learning to take better care of herself, so she talks to people with the same problem. It helps to normalize the conversation. Rita Sorenin, president and CEO of the Dave Thomas Foundation for Adoption, says Sesame Street is helping families talk with their children about the opioid crisis in our country. Just as important, I think it helps children and adults um, have a jumping off point for conversation when something as non-threatening as a Muppet is talking about her feelings and her experiences I think children in particular can uniquely identify with that character. Sorenin says there's been a 10% increase in the number of children coming into care since 2013, and that's almost directly related, she says, to the opioid crisis. But now, children are learning. They are not alone in what they are dealing with, thanks to Carly. Me too. And so I go to a special kids-only meeting. Our parents all have the same problem. Characters like this give children a voice for things they might not have been, um, uh, feel that they could talk about before. It has a profound impact, I think. It can really help you feel better. Well, we reached out to the Ohio Department of Job and Family Services to learn more about how many children are in foster care in Central Ohio. And as of October 1st, there were nearly 3,500 children in foster care in the state. More than 2,500 children are in Franklin County. Tracy?